The Barclays ATP World Tour Finals kicked off in style as the ATP came together with Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity to host a fundraising gala at the historic Royal Course of Justice in London, an event generously supported by Moe Echandon. This is for a good cause, plus it's with all the other top guys. So it's a lot of fun, it's different. Uh, also creates some hype for the tournament that's up, and it's the last one of the season. Everybody wants to do well, and uh, I'm really happy to just be here tonight and, uh, you know, hope to have a good time. It's good for tennis, it's a big event, and, uh, you know, I hope I will, uh, I will have some fun. It's a great cause, so, I mean, we are all very happy to contribute in every possible way. No, we're excited, uh, heard a lot about this venue, so we're looking forward to tonight. Only the top eight players in the world qualify for the season-ending finale, and Czech star Thomas Burdick was relishing the opportunity to go one place better than his semi-final showing in 2011. You have to do really well through whole year to qualify here, and that's you know, what I did for, for my third year, straight year, so I'm happy to be here again. I like it. It's it's nice to go out, see see many interesting people, see this night, and we will enjoy it. And as the glamorous event got started, the world's top eight doubles teams were introduced to an expectant audience. Three-time former champions Bob and Mike Bryan were competing at the season finale for an eleventh time. It's a, it's a big stage for doubles. I think everyone's excited to be here. Everyone wants to play well. Last round of applause and all the very best to every single team at this year's finals. Then it was the turn of the top eight singles players. From Serbia, Novak Djokovic. We're experiencing some really interesting times for men ten men's tennis and obviously the World Tour finals cannot come in a better moment and uh, I'm sure that all of us here will uh, will try to perform our best in the, in the last event of the year. And if you guys could, could you just look... A fantastic climax to the official Barclays ATP World Tour Finals Gala at the Royal Course of Justice in London. Supported by Moe Shandon, saw the event raise more than £400,000 for Great Ormond Street Hospital Children's Charity. A fitting start to the world's biggest indoor tennis tournament.